Hi guys, in this video let me see the static characteristic stability. It is the ability of the instrument to retain its performance throughout its specified operating life that is called stability, interchangeability. An interchangeable part is one which can be substituted for a similar part manufactured to the same drawing that is called interchangeability. Due to this interchangeability, we can replace the same parts and we can save the manufacturing time. Readability Readability refers to the easy with which the reading of the measuring instrument can be read. That is called readability. Fine and widely spaced graduation lines improve the readability. To make the micrometers more readable, they are provided with a vernier scale or magnifying device. Due to this, we can clearly read the reading. Backlass In mechanical engineering, backlass is a clearance between the mating components, sometimes described as the amount of lost motion due to the clearance or flatness when the movement is reversed and contact is re-established. See this picture. These are the two mating gears and this one is the operating pitch circle. The point of contact force passed through this line. This gap between the driving gear and driven gear is backlash. Now the first gear is rotating in uh, counterclockwise. Suppose the direction is changing to the clockwise direction, the driving gear suddenly will attack the driven gear, so there is a chance for the tip failure. Reliability It is the science of measurements embracing the both experimental and theoretical determination at any level of the uncertainty in the field of science and technology. That is called reliability. Repeatability It is the ability of the measuring instrument to repeat the same result for the same measurement for the same quantity. When the measurements are carried out by the same observer with the same instrument under the same conditions without any change in location Without changing method of measurements, the measurements are carried out in short interval of time. It may be expressed in terms of dispersion of the results. Calibration The calibration of any instrument is necessary to measure the quantities in terms of standard unit that is called calibration. It is carried out by making the adjustment in the readout device to produce zero output for zero input. In this process, magnitude of output of measuring instruments is related to the magnitude of the input force driving the instrument. Example, adjusting the weight of the scale to zero when there is nothing on the machine. The accuracy of the instruments depends upon the calibration. The output of the measuring instrument is linear and repeatable. It can be easily calibrated. For example, vernier caliper, we can calibrate very easily. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.